I was like, dude, I can't wait to play this live. This is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. And that's obviously the very first thing that people heard off of this new album. I was raised on country. Gary Barlow, Corey Crowder, and I wrote this song. And it was so funny because when we wrote Raised on Country, we were on the road. Kind of tossed around different ideas of like, what would we do that's like an anthem, like just a country anthem for people to sing along with. This song wasn't necessarily something that I'd never done before as far as having a, you know, like a really country song about kind of how I grew up. That thing is kind of laced in there with the idea of Raised on Country, but it's also something that we intentionally aimed at of trying to have a song that I felt like people were going to sing along with when we were playing this thing live. Got some Tennessee and my whiskey. Raise a cup of baby with me. I just sang through like a little SM7 mic in the back of the, the bus. This song was really different from a production aspect, mainly because we kept the guitar parts that were done on the bus. We kept the bass parts that were done on the bus. And we stacked all the harmonies and actually kept all of the harmonies that are on the record for Raised on Country are from that bus session. Learned a lot about living and a little about love. I basically went in and re-sang the vocal and Corey and I produced this one together. We had a couple of other instrument parts come in that we had done as one-offs. Normally everything that I've done has been having everybody in the studio at once. So this was really different, kind of an outside the box way to put a, a track together. I, I loved that we did that because the energy that was on a lot of those really early parts, I didn't want to lose. This wasn't a case of I'd spent a whole bunch of hours having to nitpick and having to have parts replayed, like really got from beginning to end really quickly on this song. The music video was actually done out at the old 650 building where they were doing WSM out of the old radio tower, which was really cool for me. I thought that was a really nice uh, throwback to be able to do that. We kind of did a riff on the Man of Constant Sorrow with the two players in the, the studio. And then as it gets broadcast, we had like all these wind effects that we used, which is something I'd never really done before in a video. Whereas people are hearing the song, like the speakers are just like physically blowing people away, which was a lot of fun. And uh, it definitely made for a really, really cool video shoot. I mean, it's incredible to play this song live and, and get the feedback. I mean, people love singing along to this one. It's just one of those moments in the show every night where you can feel the crowd is 100% into it by the time we play this song. We had it set, I think, right around the middle as far as like the set list every night. So it was after kind of that initial, like we're out on stage, we've gone through a couple of things. We've played some fast songs, some slow songs. When we dig into this one, uh, the crowd goes nuts. I was raised on girl, raised on it was really awesome to to get some love shown my way from Joe Diffie and obviously it's uh it's a bit different sitting here saying it now that, that he's passed away. Pretty incredible to have someone reach out that I name dropped on the song and be like, hey, I dig it. Seeing any song of mine uh, climb up the country charts is always special. It's gonna be special every single time it happens. I hope it keeps happening for a very, very long time.